Okay. How we doing? We get started here. Just one second. Getting everything uh, powered up here. All righty. Greetings, programs. Who's talking to me? Uh, seems I'm talking to myself. What else is new? All righty. Yeah, no robots tonight, folks. Um, we'll be uh, doing some going through my latest talk, which is much fun. This is a talk. I have to uh, prep for that. It's not all unicorns and rainbows. And so... Since I have to do that, and I get to do that, guess what? You folks are going to do that, too. All right. Um, so join in the chat with me. Make sure a couple of things are set up. Got to see the cat's going to join. Yeah, I got a feeling the cats are going to join up. <laughs> and there's the wife. Oh, hey, wife. Come here. No, you're in front of everybody. That's busy, right? I would so wear that shirt. Is that one of the ones you can't get? Yeah, that's one of the ones I can't get. Damn, that would be so great on you. Hold on, you're not done yet. Yeah. You're not done yet. All right. Oh my gosh, what are the freaky sections? It's all freaky sections. I almost, I like that one. I like that one. And I really, really like that yeah but that's one I really can't get because I really can't get because that only goes up oh look sold out oh bitches it's sold out the big and fat store is sold out of something I would so rock and I would hey that the one with all the Day of the Dead stuff, the Mexican Day of the Dead stuff, you know I could rock that. Yeah. Any day of the week, I'm going to Vegas. Every day's Halloween, baby. Yeah. 
And this is what Ralph does now. He sits in front of me as I'm trying to do stuff. So I gotta give him some food. I know this is thrilling to all you folks I'm watching. Anybody watching? I know one's really watching anyway. Or at least if you are, I can't tell. This goes on the robots. And I need to get the Magic 8 box wired in. You should make an offer that cannot be refused. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Oh, one other thing. What's that? Um, so, ordered a couple things. Ordered this. You're like, why would you need not just one of those, but two of those? Because I also ordered stuff to do that for some eyeballs. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> and somehow Ralph managed to clear off my whole windows of everything. Where's the mask you ordered? Oh, the mask. Hello. Uh, mask. What do they look like? Oh, okay. And they have an insert in them. Okay. Awesome. And those are what the inserts look like, and you can place those inserts in your face. Or you can just use it without the inserts, and just with the insert, they're, 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 they're more effective. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. See those things I wanted? Bad them? Don't come out to that right here. Oh, you want some shelves up there? Yeah, and I, and I have them. And they're like, you know, these, these, but they're these. Dad's already given them. I just got to take them down. Oh, okay. So I want them to go across. Okay. Is that work? Probably. So they don't. And could I get some ice water, please? Oh, okay. I'm going to get <sighs> the life of craziness. All right. Get my keyboard situated here. So I need to, this is where I'm going to be presenting from. I don't know the people are going to know what to think. I don't know what I need to do here. Ah, dang it. I do know what I need to do here, though. I need to get rid of this because it's in my way. Oh, hey, Sean, I tell her, I tell her when you get, uh, when she comes back in with my water, because even though she said she'd already gotten her some water, I think she's going to get me some water too. She's good like that, and I will tell her hi. And I'm discombobulated. Oh, yeah. I was just talking about you. Sean says hello. Sean, my uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Sean says hello. Hi. Brought me a tasty beverage. And I think a little water enhancer.
Yeah, Oklahoma Sean. <laughs> you know, that could be your mob name. Okay, yeah. We got problems. Okay, get a hold of Oklahoma Sean. <laughs> so, uh, I got to do this presentation. And the first thing I was going to do is go look at my GitHub repository and see where I left off everything in preparations. So let's go grab that. Let me get into stuff. Uh, I thought they had an updated version of OBS. But there's a the latest version they say is like on here is 25 dot something or another. That's the form. But I thought they had a 26 version of it out there. 26 dot something. They had the virtual cam built in. Maybe I was dreaming when I read that. Because I mean that's like the almost the number one uh almost the number one downloaded uh extension to OBS. So they just incorporated in it. So let me open up. I'm going to open up a new window here so we can just play around with that. And let me dump off some junk that I don't need anymore. Don't need that. Don't need that. Well, I kind of maybe need that. I might need that. Repositories. I've got a few repositories out there. Uh, don't even know what I was doing with that. I'll do something with it. I think that's what I call Blazor Playground. Let's go see what's in the middle of all that. Talks. Oh, there's the Tulsa talk. So, all right, look at that. All right. Because I know this exists already. Uh, clone it up here. Let's go find the power show PowerPoint. I'm really interested in seeing how something else is going to work too, because um, I've been doing PowerPoint uh, using PowerPoint online. I'm going to pull it up now and see what I still got left out there. There's that. I don't want to do all that at the moment. That's an ad. I think that's what I want to get. Yeah. And announcements, announcements, announcements. Nope. Not what I was looking for. Upload and open. Okay, let's go see if I can find this now. You say you're done. Downloads, I don't need videos. I 
Um, Blazer Playground. Talks. Tulsa. Oh, these are projects. Okay. Pages shared. Passes. No. That looks like I think I need to have. Let's go open it and find out. I remember what I talked about. That's one reason I was looking for that recording, Sean, is I was wanting to make sure that I'm still uh, covering the the same bits and pieces. And uh, where I might need to change it to improve it from last time, that sort of thing. That's weird. Really weird. I mean, I love my cat. They decide to sit right on the keyboard and weird things happen. All right, I'm back at it. So I see that thing and it's a LUL. What does the LUL actually stand for? I'm uh what? No, oh, come on. I can't do that. Uh, okay. Let's do this instead then. Upload and then open. Blazer Playground talks. Intro to Blazer. There we go. <laughs> so normally it should be something like LOL is laugh out loud and LUL laugh at whatever, and it looks like you got the you know, the little character thing has got a little laugh thing going on there, or a big ah, big, yeah, I don't know, whatever. All right. So let's see how that's not looking as it goes on. Yep, 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 I got that. Can I do can I say I show the notes here? No. I'd be out of power. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Dockendorf, what's going on? As a word low, you think? Okay, I'll give you that. Um, I, uh, in case you're wondering, I've got my dart gun all the time. So anytime we need one of the things a little extra, it's hanging out. <laughs> my wife hates it when I bring out that gun. I, I hope you had a happy birthday, Scott. I really do. I really, really do. Um, you want me a present?
You know, you gotta love a wife. Brings me presents. Classico pizza sauce. Actually, this does mean to see something here. Uh, this is a. Uh, I've got some some pre-made pizza dough and some other things, and because I've been jonesing for some uh, shrimpolis or pizza roll-ups or some other thing, and I'm gonna make my own because. There's not a double Dave's close to me. So you probably don't want that sauce. That sauce will be okay. You don't have to use it for that. That's not the base. This is the best sauce ever. Are you laughing at me too? Product placement is not my. Fine, dog. Let's go eat some pizza sauce. Yeah. Um. I didn't even know about it till almost too late, and Omar pinged me. Hey, do you know about this? I'm like, no. And here you go. And so I didn't want to do a whole bunch of editing, a bunch of things. And I did that all in one take, as you could probably tell. But I just figured it's fun, right? It was fun. And I found that video. I went back to the site and I saw the video. It's like 25 minutes long. And I was going to start watching it. And I hadn't, and hadn't done that yet. I see. Where was I going now? I'm discombobulated. Oh, since both of you guys are online, I, I want to try something real fast to see how well this comes across. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to start this presentation. And there's a couple of cool things about it. Animations, file home. It's a little, this is a little different. Then, okay, start from the beginning. See how this comes across. And that's not what I want to have happen. Not at all. Present live. That's what I want. So, um, hold on. Now, you can see that so it looks like I need to move at least a little bit because I'm gonna do this at Houston Tech Fest and so let's see if I can move this a little bit no I don't need to do that I need to do and you can join me as I'm doing this live if you never if you've never seen this happen um, it, it's kind of cool Nested mini, mini me. There you go. Make it. Oh, what to do this? Let me do this instead. Yeah, Scott, we do like you, believe it or not. I need to address this better, but we can start by doing this. Maybe I'll do another scene specifically for Houston Tech Fest. Yeah. So you can see that, and you can scan that, and you can get the whole things. And then I can get to go forward. Hold on, I can't go forward there. Then I can go forward, okay. And this is all this kind of stuff. I need to add in my Twitch channel there. There's the Blazer Talks. Okay. You got these things Angular, whatever, JS. It comes on WebAssembly. Look, it all works on all the thing. And, well, luckily it's not. Okay, got it. Dotting it in the browser. 
I have to remember those words there. Blazor runs on top of it, talks to DOM, client side, and then we do server side. It's ready to go. All right, uh, we're back to here again. Uh, it's interactive web UI for .NET, and that's exactly what it is. Okay, that's what you need to do. And install the templates. This is how you get to go, run. And now we'll do the demo. And there's the Blazor Workshop. You just do it. And we're going to do some demos. I got to update that slide there too because that's um, that's probably done. Okay. Head over there and give it a go. Do the workshop. Send me some feedback. And there's a whole bunch of video stuff. And that's it. And the rest of it is me doing demo. On. How am I going to fill an hour? With all that, hmm. I'll figure it out somehow, I'm sure. All right. Am I in the session? Yes, in the session. We're going to resume it, go back into it. Let's go fix some of that. Yeah, I, I will tell you. Um, um, if you look at the credits on this, by the way, when if you if you guys have joined would have joined when I had the session going up, you can scroll around to any of those pages that I've seen as I go as I go through it, and uh, that was pretty cool. And it's it's a pretty cool thing. But if uh, you'll at the very start of those credits there, where it says Steve Sanderson video, the start of this, we go and pull that down, and you look at his slide deck, and then look at what I've got showing up here. You may see some similarities, <laughs> and I I tweeted out I, I I tweeted out to him that I was so ripping that off, and he and uh, and he replied like he was happy about all that. So oh yeah no 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 I was also going to show a couple other things here too. Um, let me open this window here, and this is a couple of things I was going to show. Uh, live coders. Nope. Urban Astro. No. Other favorites. I just walked through all my bookmarks to get to the right stuff. Oh, no. Uh, one of the other things I was going to show is this. What you can do in Blazor. And that's a full Pac-Man. Running in your browser. Um, tap or space for one player. And that looks for all the world real to me. Ah! And yeah, I can. Oh, I should have died. You see, I didn't die. Oh, I died that time. Insider Dev Tools. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. That right there is one of them. Okay, you need to go away now. And blasteroids. I gotta have a little sizzle. Isn't that it? No. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, let me look it up. Because I gotta have a little signal. Well that that's part of the civil that was part of it. The other one is um Blazer Roy's. Hmm. 
Yeah. Nope. And there's an AKA.ms, but I th think this gets me here. Yeah, this gets me here. Yeah, and so this is the other one. This is the other bit of signal. It's going to be. This is basically. That's all in WASM and all C sharp, and uh, there's a GitHub repo. Running all in the browser. That uh, that spaceship is far too deadly, though. It never misses. Doesn't even come close to missing. So, yeah, let me save that off as a thing. Where'd my mouse go? Oh, there it went. Yeah, we're going to turn it away now. Dude, that's awesome. Turning it from hours into minutes? That is fantastic. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're put on this planet to do, right? <laughs> what, because you know what Asteroids was? Or you want to play it now? I love that game when I was... Popped a lot of quarters in it. It's never very good to it. Never very good on it though. But there's that. And so I've got to go find it again. That's got to be in there. And I think, let's make sure I didn't not lie to anyone. Yeah, the .NET comp. Focus on that. I've got a bunch of other noise down here too that I didn't include. And um, I may include now because of what I'm doing. The idea behind these two slides here are um, how not only do you have access to the web browser since it's ubiquitous um, because of uh, web us uh the, the web usb and all the other kind of stuff that goes on there you have access to um barcode scanners and all other kinds of things and there's your uh, gprc grpc and your testing and your pwa i don't know if you want to get into that there's uh, literally blazer everywhere this talks more about client side versus server side that may actually need to go up i don't have that already What that actually means. No, oh, yep, I've already got it up there. So I don't need that there. Let me get rid of that one. So I'm not tempted to use it again. Alrighty. What is this? You know, that probably needs to go up. Yeah, um, why don't I do that? Um, there's a, uh, uh, there's another, uh, Dapper's basically a micro ORM sort of thing going on there. Have you ever heard of, uh, Insight or DB Insight? I think that's pretty cool too. So I'm going to unhide said slide.
Yeah, how it really works? Yeah, it's magic, man. That's all there is to it. It's just magic. And the two devices. Remove these up, restructure this stuff just a little bit. What is that? Oh, that's a nothing. Because I've got to go through the, uh, and what y'all do here in a bit, uh, make sure all the demos still work and make sure I can run demos on my things and all that good noise. What are you doing there? I don't want you there. I'm going to delete that set slide. Yeah, the uh, the the, the DB inside. I, I it's been a couple of years since I've used it, but um, it was really pretty cool. Um, it used reflection like I well most of them do, uh, but basically I give it an object and pass it in, and it passes me back an object populated with stuff. Um, you know, we had to go set some stuff up and set all the IOC containers and all that other, you know, plumbing to make it work. Uh, but once it started working, it was nice. It was fast um, and gave you uh, ability to do lots of things, uh, including, you know, store procedures. So the output of the store procedures would get jammed right into your object and uh, many to many relationships, all that kind of stuff that it worked nice. Um, the demos. The demos I was planning on were a couple. One of them is going to be a file, just like that slide says right there, uh, dot on the file new project dot net run. Um, we'll just take it from the beginning. We'll hit it, and I'll show you what you get. And then um, I'll, I'll need to go remind myself of it. But they're um, for the most part. Oh, I've got this. I got a second screen now, and I'm losing my mouse. I may have to move where that second screen actually goes from or to. Uh, in fact, I may may do that. Um, let me try that so I feel better about things. I've got it going on right there, and that's causing me issues. What if I go over here so it's easier to get to and from, and I just don't go all the way over there? We'll see how that works for me. Because on that screen, too, that's where OBS is and all the other junk on the thing. So, so when I go in this, the intro to Blazor, that's all I have. This is my, this is my, uh, it, but what I'm, what I was planning on doing. Well, let's go see what I did for Sean. So, I've got some WASM stuff going on here. I wonder if I can open that up. Now I've got a cat coming along. You gonna come code with me, Ralph? Man, your nose. It was looking so good just the other day. You need to keep your nose out of other cat's paws. Um, what I was going to do was do a file new project. And then let's see if I can open up this project here in my Visual Studio. Because I don't think I have all the prereqs on my box currently. That it does not actually come up. Hello, computer. Is it actually starting? Or did the cat do something for me? Yes. Do it. There you go. I was going to start with the file new project. And, um, oh, thanks for the update. And then I was going to take them through the workshop demo, which I don't know if you've seen that.
it's uh, control and here. There's been a whole bunch of updates to this since I gave the talk. Uh, I was watching Toy make just tons of updates on it. And what this does, this takes you from the file new project app sort of thing and ends up walking you through something and you make this, including with the layout and they give you a bunch of assets for the cards and the prices. And if you want to do ordering, you can do that too. And I think they've got a, uh, they've got, it's just, you got a whole bunch of sessions here to go through, deploy it even to Azure. Uh, and it's a really, really, really nice workshop. And I don't think that's just the image. Getting started is going to take you to the first one there. And um, you can try to build that and do that. Basically, I was going to go a couple of those things. We're going to talk about a little bit about inheritance. Or, or no, actually, not inheritance. Composing of objects, nesting objects inside of one another. And then um, the end of this thing here actually talks. This talks. Uh, to uh, uses the the the, the comp the, the JavaScript bridge to talk to a Google Maps to simulate your pizza being driven down to you and shows you that working. Yeah. All right. What have I got going? It's still coming up. I'm really chunking on. Well, that's not too too bad. I did slow my frame rate down to 30 frames a second instead of 60 because things I'm doing are not that fast and I think that's probably okay unless you guys are seeing some artifacts. What is going on here? What in the wild, wild world of sports is going on here? Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you. That oh, where did it go? Over here. Works now. Works again. So does drop. Yay! Now, where did my Okay, docs. Chat. Chat go to. I'm trying to get it where I can see it on the screen and actually chat to people. Where did chat go? Yeah, that, that Plinko and, uh, Bang Drop works too, by the way. It does something slightly different. All that is out from Instafluff, and that's thanks to, uh, your buddy Sean there. Oh. You re enter my credentials. You guys gonna steal my credentials? That's my email address. And now I gotta approve myself. Yes, I am who I say I am. Let that get set up. 
Where did Met go? Okay. No, you do not need to refresh your credentials by account. Please check for an updated license so that I can actually use the thing. Thank you. Thank you very much. And so if I actually run this thing, see what we get. Yeah, okay, I need to update it. I'll do that afterwards. Thank you for telling me. Ralph is trying to help me. How's he doing? He's not helping so much. Yes. Yes, this is my own stupid thing. Oh, thank you, John. Uh, bang drop works too. If you want to try that, fun, fun, fun in the crazy down tonight. Oh, there you go. Like going drop. Hey, it went off the side of the screen. Look at that, 92.22. Dude, that's the best one I've seen yet. Go, Sean, go. I don't know why Plinko is being weird. Let me go check its uh, scene right fast. Plinko. To push 1920 by 1080 it should have shown a star and did all the right things all righty then um i don't worry about that too much in a moment oh i hit the enter button were you holding your mouth right when you press the enter key yeah, see what happens when I do it. Hold on a second. We'll try to draw. Up, oh, I've checked that. Bang, draw. You know, and I may have moved that overlay in inadvertently. Let's go look at that. Desktop. Me. Plinko. Ooh. Yeah. Now Plinko will do what it's supposed to do. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock that Plinko from now on. Oh, no, I'm just not showing it. I'm an idiot. There you go. It's time for Plinko again. Nope, it's not following. Oh, hold on. There you go. I had to do the updated uh, dealy bopper there.
There you go. Back to the back to the real world thing of world things, right? Um, you get Plinko on here. I say Plinko. I got Plinko on there. Uh, the the demo. I was gonna start here. How much juice am I eating up? I think I gotta get me a new mouse. It's only sixty five. I shouldn't be jerking all the way around like this like a crazy person. I think my mouse blows. Okay, time for new Missy Massey. But um, this is the file new project. Uh, we were fetching some data, countering this on the clicking things, and then going through a couple of a uh, couple of demos of how we how this counter actually works, and how some of the routing works, and how some of this this uh, stuff goes, and then how we do that on the deal, right? About. And so if I tell that to go away and I stop it, um, basically running around here in some of the pages, uh, talking about, oh, look at the razor. How sexy is that? Hello. There you go. I'm talking about code behind, um, how this counter works, and display of stuff. Really? No, 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 no. I thought it was plugged in, and I'm not plugged in and, and charging like I thought. I can fix that. I have power. Alrighty. Yeah, I may have to, I won't be able to do it tomorrow, but this weekend I'm going to get me a new mouse. And I do love Logitech mouses in the MMX series specifically. Who's stepping away? You got to step away? Hey, if you do, that's fine, Scott. Um, bring it on back, because I'm not sure exactly how far I'm going to get anyway. What I am going to try to do is uh, make sure I got the pre-wax on my machine. Install some of this might not be all the exciting worth of things, but go through my own talk. <laughs> go figure that one out, right? But uh, there's us fetching data, doing things with tables, uh, www root. What else we need in there? No big deal. How to handle the the loading thing and error and and how the error pages sort of happen. A little bit of the program action. That's all you need to do. Boom, it works. Those sorts of things. I know I checked that stuff in. So let me see if there's another branch here though, on my uh, on my repo. Don't need you. Branches. Oh, that's the only branch I got. Okay. I got some assets. Okay. What I've started doing with these is when I'm building up my talks, all the graphics, all the stuff I use that I've got to pull from somewhere else, I'm just putting them all in here. Oh, yeah, let's fire this one up. Let's go through each one of these and see. Close that project. No, don't save. Sure, bring it on, man. Bring it on. I'm always willing to help. I mean, we have the technology that we can meet almost any time. In fact, uh, tomorrow night, uh, we'll be doing one, another one of the global AI things, right? I don't know if you guys know about that or invited to it. I could look it up and share. Uh, Chris is going to be doing some stuff with uh, AI. Um... 
Let me open up uh, another project or solution. Let's just run through a couple of these that I've done already, and we'll see where I'm at before I start going crazy. And uh, I mean, the, the way I, I don't know if this is a good way or not for my Twitch stream of things, I, whether you're going to make your millions or whatever. But I figure if uh, I'm scheduling myself a couple hours on Monday, Wednesday, Friday to come into uh, my uh, my place here and and uh, do stuff I want to do. Uh, not that I don't love hanging out with the wife and all the other kinds of things. Uh, but if I'm in the lab doing those things, especially on those days, uh, I say lab is my garage. You know, and I want to share. And if somebody wants to come along for the ride, that's all the better. And if nobody wants to come along. Well, I'm still going to have a good time anyway. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get looking at this and see if I can open that. See if it actually runs. Tell it to go. I got one project going on it. Yeah, uh, we're it's is we'll be blowing it out through Discord on uh, uh, for the global AI. If you haven't seen it, I've got it around here somewhere. Hold on, Meetup. Uh, let me just start with Meetup here, and then we'll find the global AI stuff. I'm done with you already. Uh... I thought we were doing this through Hackster. Events. Upcoming. Yep. It'll go from 5.30 to probably 7.30 or 8. So it might, you might not be able to make it there. But um, we'll be doing uh, some deep learning and hyperparameter tuning. Whatever that is. Chris Ricci is actually going through that. Um, and uh, he's pretty good. Yeah, I the the thing is, as much as I I, I like you know, well, I like talking to people. I'm sure that's not a secret to you. And um, and as much as this this lockdown, COVID, whichever way you want to characterize it has done things it's also opened up a, a bunch of new avenues and forcing people to change and um you know this is my way of talking um i'm thinking uh, that i'm going to open up a discord server at some point i'm not sure when i'm going to do that yeah that's a long time man you you've been involved longer than i have i think i got in about 2005 and i think my first user group Thing that I actually went to, I'm like, who goes to user groups, man? Because my, I say my very first one was like the North Texas PC user group that used to go down in the, uh, uh, they used to go down in in the Infomart, and I saw all those people all geeking out and hanging out with some other folks. I'm like, man, I, I don't want to hang out with those nerds. And even though that was as nerdy as they were, I just didn't want to hang out with them. And so um, after I, after a while, I wanted to get back in the community thing, and I went to Dallas.net user group. And my very first time back, there's a little skinny guy up on the stage talking about all kinds of things, and his name was Scott. And it had to be Scott Hanselman, and he was fantastic. So I was hooked on coming to user groups and doing stuff, and then I won something. So that got even better, you know, and ever since then, I've just been hanging out and doing stuff. Yeah. yeah, and so that's that's what's going on, and I think it's and 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 so I've been looking, trying to reimagine stuff, and if my reimagining is here, and I get uh, two or three people at a time watching, doing, commenting, uh, that's great, and if I get more than that, that's even better. And do I think I'm going to be like Crip, one of the Hearthstone players who has ten thousand people on his stream at any given time he's on? I don't see that ever happening. I truly don't. Uh, but can I get where a little bit more? Can I even get as good as my buddy Sean there? Um, 
and uh, showing off some stuff and doing some things, which I think is fantastic, Sean, that you've uh, you've cultivated that. I was uh, I'm liking the TDB gamer. He was he TDB game. Yeah, he was. It was good. It was interesting uh, the other night, and I've ran into a couple of other people that are, are really cool. In fact, I'm getting to know the names of a, a few uh, people who stop by on a regular basis. I, I don't know that the C-Sharp thing is going to be some of those folks, but uh, the folks that are doing the hardware stuff certainly stop, stop by. Yeah. yeah. They're not really all that kind, actually. They're just true. <laughs> and you're welcome. Yeah, the, that, that DD Nug had tons of people. It was almost like, um, it was almost like fishing in a river of fish. You know, uh, that so much stuff was getting thrown at you and so many people were showing up. It's uh, certainly, certainly changed a lot since then. So where am I at now? What am I doing here? Let's see if I hit run, what happens? Again, going through all, just going through these demos again and uh, seeing what works and what doesn't. And then it looks like I've got all the prereqs, but I'm going to go through them anyway. Because if I didn't have all the prereqs, this wouldn't work. Yeah, that just wouldn't work. And the other fact is I wanted to show that it doesn't matter whether it's working where it's in the browser or in the uh or on the server it's the same code doing the same bits of stuff you know you get a weather service and that weather service does an amazing thing all right it's code you already know i got a question um you guys are watching yeah i'm bald engineer i watch him not all the time but watch him uh often enough and um and he's he does some great stuff He does some great stuff. He's, he's making his own boards and that kind of stuff. One of the, I think, either Bald or Noise Bro. You've seen Noise? Noise is great. I say great. I, I I don't know what I expect people to know and what I don't know. So I expect him to know some different things than he actually knows. But he's still a great person. And uh, he's I've got a couple of uh, followers through him. He asked, hey, so what do you do? And I said, I am building this on my stream. And a couple of them popped up. Oh, you do hardware? I'm going to follow you. Okay, great. And there's, uh, you know, like, I don't know if it's what hardware means to some people because I do a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, noise is, you know, he's, I say great. Uh, I, but I like his gadgets and his gadgets. Here comes a cat again. We're about to have a catastrophe. Or you just want to drink up my water? Is that what you want to do? Are you coming to the top of my keyboard? Here. See, this is what I got to code with all the time, right here. Just rolls up in the middle of me. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Because I, I know Noyce doesn't do that either on his day job. I don't know. Well, I don't suspect he does. Um, but... Uh, but the bald engineer, bald engineer knows a, a lot, man. Um, what what I liked about Noise is that he's got a couple of those uh, extra gadgets and gadgets uh, that you can play with and do stuff, and I think that's kind of cool. And for instance, um, um, one of the things well, thanks like the I did not touch you. Okay, um, is I've got a Magic Eight box here, and I got a bunch of photons. And Jared and I believe you, Sean, were on a went on a call that uh, decided on one of my projects that I've got down over here. You don't need that in your life. Yeah. Okay. So, so you can. I've got about thirty some odd quips in here, and most of them are not uh, on the positive side of life. Like, hey, is this going to be an awesome day, Magic Eight Box? Make it so. Well, okay, that didn't help me too bad. Again, is it gonna be a magic? It's gonna be a great day, Magic Eight, eight Box. Would you like fries with that? Okay, whatever. You're not gonna give me a good answer today. So between that and maybe a dark gun, you know, maybe we do some of that. 
and then fire up a couple other stupid projects around it. Hey, you're on my keyboard, Ralphie. I want to code around a cat. Lord. But uh, imagine uh, some of that kind of stuff I think might have fun and just, just goof around. Uh, one of these days, maybe I'll get a ping pong ball shooter or something like uh, the Lab 424 guy. I think that's fun. You know, I, I think all those things are fun, and I think not just having them is fun, but on your on your Twitch. Um, oh yeah, here let me show you a better view of what's going on on your Twitch stream. Um, then making them available for people. So here's what I got going on right now. So this is what I got going on right now. I got the cat. I got my computer. I got to do over the top. Um, if you look in my little uh, close up. Oh, now you're going to move some more. Here, I'll put you on camera. Ah, there you go. Ah, 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 ah. And then I've got, uh, that's what my robot currently looks like. It's coming together. And um, it's, I made some good progress. Uh, the other day, and I'm because uh, I put this power stuff that I've got going on right there. Put the power stuff in there. Um, I'm about ready to try to move the wheels using this latte panda. It just I really need to get this uh, uh, presentation on the roll. All right, enough of that crazy boys. Let's go back to what I'm trying to do. Maybe I can just. You think I can set the keyboard on top of the cat? That's probably not going to work too well either. You know, Ralph, I got a bunch of problems to solve. And I don't mind solving you, but, but your problem is not a problem I really wanted to solve tonight. Here. Give it a little overhead view of things. See, so you see my pain. Yeah, exactly. It will be as perfect as you want. <laughs> no doubt about that. Can I move your tail? Thank you. All right. Goof heads. Oh, somebody sent me something. Hold on. Oh, folks from high school through Facebook, which pretty much means it's probably either inflammatory one way or the other. I'm not sure. I, get, I think I know what Randy's, where Randy's going to go with all that, and that's fine. I'll, I just get tired of it. But anyway, back to this. My real question is, when I'm displaying this stuff as code, uh, because you guys can see it. Um, should I be using the dark like this? Or usually when I present, usually when I present options, I'm presenting it like this. And I don't know which weather, which is, which is better. I'm about to say that's better. I had to make a guess. Yep, I think we're going to roll with that. I'll have to switch it back and forth. I think it's easier for people to see uh, the color contrast and all that sort of thing. Yep. All right. Man, this mouse really is sucking today. I wonder if it's got too much Bluetooth running around, not enough Bluetooth, crappy batteries. I thought maybe it was because I had the stupid, uh, not a good surface, but then I put another surface on it. Well, that looks that works a little better. Maybe it's surface.
Yeah. Yeah, because that's usually what I do when I'm projecting. And then when we're doing this, since it's walking to everybody's screen, is the same rules apply? I guess they do. I guess I assume they do. Let's see if this actually runs. And the server side. And that's, that's one of my demos, by the way. Do a file new, do it both ways, showing that, look, I'm using the same code. And whether it's server side or... Um, or client side, uh, you get the same interaction going on there. Yeah. Yeah. I have no doubt since I'm, <laughs> by the way, when I did that tomorrow morning when I open up my my bit of code to go to work for the client, I'm going to be, I have, I'm going to be wide awake when the white screen comes up. All righty. Yeah, currently my cat's claiming to be an SQL expert, I think. Mm -hmm. I think so. <sighs> yeah, so it was advice I gave you. You know, that's now twice within about two or three weeks of people giving me back my own advice that I gave them. And I don't have no idea, and I'd forgotten I'd given them advice. I'm like, wow, I might have known something somewhere yeah. at some point in time. Oh, and there's my wife. I didn't know she snuck up on me. Yeah. She ninja up on me. Ninja, leap ninja skills. She's, uh, we're getting the comments from the peanut gallery over there. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let me uh, do that. Clues. I need to close the solution. Let's see if we can open the, the last one of these. Yes, I want to stop debugging. No, I'm not going to save. I would like to open up project or solution. Let's just make sure. Yeah, this is the craziest one right here, the hosted one. And I will show this as well when you make it hosted. Because at this point, you've got some stuff working in a server, right? You got some stuff working in a client, and then you have some shared things. For instance, a shared for weather forecast is, is is between the two of them. And if I go fire this up, which I need to not do this, I need to fire both of these, both the server and the client. So I need to go here, set startup projects. Yeah, yeah, I, I use a bunch of those, right? So we need, uh, we need to start. We need to start. I'm going to apply. And I'm going to say go. Yeah, th there's been many a bleary day that I remember um, both Borland Pascal and, and the C compiler. I uh, spent a lot of time in both of those. I mean you can't reach this page. Well, it's all exited for some reason. Let's try this again. There we go. Woo! Okay, so the basic demos do work. Right. Now I, got, I think I was showing this as a one big demo that you can split it up because I apparently I did make some changes to this one. I can make those same changes. 
Okay, there's another question there too. Do you guys actually, this diagnostic tools, I, I don't use it for crap. Should I be? I guess I should be, but most of the stuff I've been doing, that, that doesn't matter. I guess if I was writing a desktop app, it'd probably be, uh, it would probably be more beneficial. I guess. So let's see if I can go change that. I'm in the client app, posted pages. I am countering up. And hello, Harold, last name, Pulcher, blah. Oh, that's me showing off. Saying I can make a blah tag. And that's me adding a cascading value down to the blah. And I believe... Nope, 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 that's not what I asked for. Nope. Is there something being typed or touched on? Well, oh, there's something. There's some. There's some button pressed on the keyboard. It has to be. I was in some mode. Oh, and that's the only that's the only thing that was in there. Start count, make a blah thing, increment account. Oh, it makes a cascade value so that it goes down to stuff. That's what it does. I'm gonna talk about routing. Um how routing happens. I've forgotten some of this. I gotta go. I guess I should probably go remind myself of how all this stuff works. For I actually got to uh, throw it out there, shouldn't I? <laughs> okay, Scott. Thanks for dropping by, man. You be safe. You be safe. He put all this back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, stop debugging. Okay, I know that works. I know that goes. I know that goes. I know that goes. Don't mean to be pimping on that. I go back to my uh, web and my PowerPoint. All right. Let's see what Blazor.net looks like these days. Alrighty, do an on click. Run now. We got some more stuff. Share code and libraries, JavaScript interrupt. Free tools, UI ecosystem. Oh, and I've got to show this off too. That I have to show off. Power line. 
Everybody should be using power. Right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I need me to get ignore somewhere, don't I? What's actually in that properties? Launch settings. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if I can open that and look and see what's inside of it. I asked development settings in there. Okay, maybe I should hold on to that. Maybe that does get checked in. All right, I will allow it. Settings. Settings just half to half, and I can push that up so nobody else gets it. So, what that's telling me is that right there. And it says do the workshop. I say do the workshop. The workshop still exists, right? Control click. I know it does. I get the code. Go copy that and let's see what happens when I do the workshop. See if that runs properly. <coughs> nope, need to clone it. Go get it. Uh, that was quick. Let's go see if we can open up something. It ain't too crazy. Repos. Blazer Workshop. Docs, Note, Save Points. And if I get down all the way to Progressive Web App World, I should open that up. See what we have. Server, shred, all those things. Need to go make all those things happen again. We need a server and we probably need a client fired up. So let me go uh, make those happen. Rebuild solution, clean solution, new. The starter products. Multiple ones. We will need a client and we will need a server. We'll apply that. 
Okay, let's go build it all, make sure it builds. We don't have any surprises. Says to go, start it up. What? Oh, thanks for signing me in. not what I wanted. Close out of here and find out why that didn't work. Client should be there. Maybe I don't have you brought it after. Great. I might have to just walk through some stuff and work through some stuff to get through all this. Let me go uh, close that solution. I thought there's a way we could do a final solution on this, a final thing done. No, you don't remember? You don't remember where you were? You're really killing me. You're killing me here. Save point source. That was a save point. Templated components. Maybe this gets me the whole thing. Let's start the server. We'll just do that and we'll do a second one here. Make sure that does what it's supposed to be. All right, okay, there you got that going on. And then we go over here and we go client, client and we'll say. Start a new instance of that. What are we doing to my CPU here? Uh, it's not terrible. And so if I wanted to open this up in a new browser, and I want to go to localhost. So that is indeed a web project. And I say, give me some properties. Ooh, 2.1 standard. We may have to do some extra stuff there, but I don't know. We'll see. Build, build events. Build, debug. Copy. I'm copying over here. Paste it up. No, you obviously didn't copy very well. 
see what we have there. Oh, that ain't working, is it? Let me stop all that then. Startup projects. Let the client server. Y K go. It's not defined. Okay, so I think I'm missing a prereq somewhere to make that happen. Yep, so let's go let's go prereq it up. Just like I said to go do. And yeah, felt launch an adapter. Alright, getting started bits. Oh, follow the instructions here. It, oh, great. Download and install. I don't know if that works. I don't need this anymore. <clears throat> Oh, it does work. Holy crap. It says you're good to go. Okay. Where am I at? Uh, we're going to throw most this way, I think. Thank you for pushing, Ralph. Um, Look, there's all kinds of crazy stuff there. Look, my stupid project. Isn't that awesome? So, .NET. New Blazor. Server. Dasho Blazor app. Okay. Running .NET Restore on that thing. It says it got there. All right. Can do that. Well, let's uh, see what happens. See if we're successful. What am I, what am I doing to my machine here? Hmm. 
Not much, apparently. Discord is using more CPU than the .NET run is running. Oh, here it is. It's almost going to do... No, that's not even going to do it. I'm going to close that up so it didn't get a chance of causing me a problem. I missed that somewhere. Oh, okay. I didn't read. Yes. Okay. That works. Okay, so we know we're good there. And I can show that off. All right. Enough out of you. Don't need you. Control C. Dude, you might as well just stop because I know 92. I mean, you, you could get closer. Well, hitting it twice in a row is uh, pretty amazing all by itself. Here, see if I can compete. Yeah, we're both losers on the Plinko. Oh, wow, 86. Oh, 68. Dyslexia is kicking in. Okay. Ralph, it's time for you to move again. Yeah, I did get in the water. That don't happen too often. I wonder how that gets decided. You, you think you think what's coded up? Fifty-eight. I can't even read my own stuff. Do you think it's coded up in a random fashion with a vector, and it just how's the physics make it work, or um, there's a predetermined that this will hit the water, and then now I want to start here and just make it happen. I do like InstaFluff, man. He's actually pretty cool. He did a B2C uh, thing the other day that was pretty cool. Your nose is so, so bad. Ralphie's. So bad. Math plus magic and vectors. Well, there you go. Well, come on. Where are you going? I would like to type at some point in the near future. Is that okay with you? Oh, come on. You want some loving? You want some loving? Come on. It's hard being a kitty, I know. I lay around in the sun, get fed, lay on humans till you figure out how to eat them. Hmm. I'm about taking you in there to your mama. All right, get off me. Thank you. Now I've got half of you on me. 
Glad I'm not allergic to cats. Okay, that runs. Want you to try the counter. That's fine. I need to go check my notes again to make sure I got all the right notes. And modify a component. Ooh, let's go modify a component. Yo, because this thing doesn't work. Okay, buddy. Thanks for the lurk. I'll take lurks anytime. Get to move your tail, Ralph. You know, combat coding. I didn't know. I had no idea I'd be doing that with a with my cat. Yeah, they have you modify this thing. See? Oh, that works. <sighs> Ralph, you're going to kill me, man. You going to stay there for a little while? Let's go see what it's having us do. Oh, when you go into that survey prompt on the page, the home page, right? That's what it wants you to do. All righty, let's go quit out of here. Or can you do that? Rerun the app. Okay. So let's do this. Control C. I'm going to open up. I can see around my cat. Apparently, I cannot. Okay, launch Visual Studio. Really? Let's do this. Desktop. Me and close up. Uh, let's we'll do that instead. All right. Sure, you can see that. Hmm. 
Visual Studio, open project or solution. Mm. And we certainly don't need that. And we certainly don't need this all the time. And and make sure you can see some stuff. I'm driving by OBS. It's insane. Okay, let me get rid of that. There you go. All right. So now what it wants us to do we got a counter page here. And so what we need to do, oh, it just increments it there. What they want us to do is go do one of these. All right. So we now have us a parameter. Parameter. And since we do have a parameter, and I can't type. So now we can what we can do is we can pass in that. So now well, we go down here and do this. And go back. Do the index. Okay, so we're pasting that in. We're pasting the counter object counter component in. Which is another razor page, by the way, right? Yeah. It's just a razor page. Right? We're pasting that. Really? Counter, 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 button class, current count. That's a bit weird. Yep, it pasted that whole page in there. And I tell this thing to run. Viewers. My viewership has been lost. Now it gets up there when you click on that 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's pretty cool. All right. I think it's good enough for today. There's some stuff I got to step away from and that kind of thing. So. say I'm losing viewers I got her had any real viewers so here we go folks so whether it's from uh, my failures or your successes hope you learned something today and uh,
Hope to see you back here soon. And be safe. Hmm. That's crazy.